Welcome back. Elders and leaders from indigenous groups in Kuneli and Omaheke recently attended the 2024 International, International Participatory Design Conference of the PDC held in Sarawak, Malaysia, co-hosted by NAST and the University of Technology of Sarawak. The conference looked at ways to grow new alliances with research communities and stakeholders in a collaborative and structured approach to change initiatives. The elders were founded by UNESCO under the MTC Namibia Indigenous Projects and they were accompanied by the Acting Deputy Vice Chancellor of Research, Innovation and Partnership at the Namibia University of Science and Technology, Dr. Colin Stanley, who now joins us with uh, the big man, Wariake Mbinge. Very good afternoon and thank you so much for joining us. Um, what are you doing? Very English is, even though he's not hearing it, he yeah. says that he's a good English. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, Dr. Collins, let's perhaps start off yes. with you, just making us understand the importance of this event and uh, allow um Tatim Binge to also share his his experience you know being at that level uh, yeah. as well yes uh, this is uh, one of the reputable international conferences this is the 18th uh, conference 18th time that is taking place mm. it was as you said it was in Subu, Cebu uh, that is in Malaysia and uh, this conference is, uh, this con specific conference looks at participatory participatory in the sense that all are equal equal footing in participation mm. in their research endeavors. Uh, it could be artwork, it could be computer, uh, computer science. We look at computer science. Uh, it was once also in Namibia in 2014. Uh, in 2016, it was also in Denmark. It's a global conference that yeah. is biannual that happens every second year. Uh, the next, uh, after two years, it will be in Italy. So it brings a lot of global uh, renowned researchers uh, that come and share their knowledge on what they've been researching uh, the past two years. So mm. that's how uh, high value conference it is. And uh, NAS had the opportunity to co-host it with the University of Technology, Sarak, uh, from Malaysia. Mm. Yeah. And let me perhaps uh, talk to us about the importance of, you know, of, of him as an indigenous knowledge holder participating in this uh, a big event and also what it does for the community because in the past it has felt that they, they have been left out. People come there, collect all this knowledge, all this intellectual property and people like himself and the rest of the community uh, are not uh, acknowledged for that. Can you yeah. sort of touch on that for yeah. us please? Uh, o shineno wa kontoni ve ke kutoro o ke kupro nongo kobe ave ave ka shangolomba pira o veni waka no no karu ve de kukapu no mombongarenjo nenenji ku turaira kusha o ve wa 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 kavi we wa munuko ndengu jite kipi kusha wa ene no kupo usembo kukara mombongaro nenenji mm dangi koma puli longa pura so we first thank you for your question, a very good question. Uh, this conference that he attended uh, was very good for him because he had the opportunity to see other indigenous knowledge holders from other countries. Mm. Yeah. So what he also enjoyed the most is different people coming together, uh, sharing knowledge, and especially the indigenous knowledge, mm. sharing their knowledge, their perspective. 
Uh, they, they say that, you know, where we come from as human beings, you know, we all come from, from one pot. And I think an interesting question would be, what were some of the similarities, for example, when they sat with the indigenous people from Peru or mm. the native Indians that made him realize, wait a minute, we, are, we actually have more in common here yeah. than, than we have out of common. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But in one by the Canada, or Munini Herman Mundo Ronji Bovenki, but in our and by the Lacado, but in our and by the New Zealand, but in our and by the Parino Shinashima Mudusho Shavin and Goran, but to no Shinashima Kumoshi, Kwai Shosho Muni, Shinashimushi, Shimu, Shimu, Shimu Munusha, Marino, no Shinashimu, Mamu, Hakane, now Kumwe. Oh, I can let him by me, eh? By Jamba me, eh? Munda we have jiri na huna mbali, au we huna mbali. Kitu eke rembo, munda we hivali mara mara disa mbali, au we hivali mara disa mbali. Kwa jamu nda zeri zeri pege pege ni, amezi muno muno kujia, amaunguli ramawa, ova ndungwa di chiveri pam. Chema vizu asana, miji miji mbali ya, miji miji mbali ya ingu, ova miji miji mbali ya nje. Iya, kwa wia waka wa nambano. Chikwe ya vinambi ya dhama hii nambi, ya dhamba dhumtu kutuwa mwa dhama hii na, okucha, ade hako ka wajitha kwa kane. Zama kane hii kathe kone. Upethi ya na hii, uchimba munu kujia, ngwari ngu kukotora dhamba dhupamwe, kuhungira pamwe, nukupikwa, oge nge jithenda. Ok. So his response to that question is this, that although everyone has their own unique traditions, he said, the beauty of it is to know each other's uh, traditions. So that already is profounding for him, that everyone should have their own knowledge, but you should know each other's knowledge. Mm. Then you better understand how people reason. And he's saying that now that with technologies, that we have technologies that allow us to pres uh, safeguard our knowledge, put our knowledge so that our future generations can have that knowledge, that is also very good. Mm. But the, I, the, the the idea that you can always learn from other traditions for him that was the thing that he liked the most absolutely yeah. lastly i know you, you you must be very tired from a very exhausting trip uh, but that's the last question and i wanted to tie in with what you just said now about young people the importance of passing on that knowledge we know that in africa for example and many other cultures as well is that the history has been passed on from, mm. from orally and, and, and along the line, this, this, this information becomes watered down or somebody yeah, <laughs> forgets. Yeah. And, you know, it, 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 at the end of the day, after 100 years, the information is no longer as accurate as yeah. it used to be. Uh, with the initiatives like these, where in knowledge, indigenous knowledge holders are being included in the process and with the, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, with the incorporation of technology, hmm. computer scientists like yourself coming in, how important do you think this will be, you know, for the future generations moving forward, where they can now say, this is my bloodline, this is my knowledge, my, my indigenous knowledge system, which I can access at the click of a button. Yeah. Mm. So, okay. Yeah. Uh, Masha, Oh, she quite, she knows she was here. You could either congress of Yak and Dino de Cotidon Bath. Hm. What do you want to congress of Babu? We never be more yak and one and Banani. Over my hand and the Eraka, so he is responding that uh, for you to be yourself and that you 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 need your language mm. and uh, and and you need your tradition on how the for example he took an example of and their attire on how they wear because it is significant important knowledge mm. uh, and that you can always put this knowledge into computers that for generations to come the, this knowledge will be there 
for the for the young ones to learn about it and this is not it's part of knowledge construction yeah. so he said that we have this opportunity and we have to make sure that we are not left behind with this opportunity so in a nutshell that is what he what is he sharing on uh, on using technologies mm -hmm. to make sure that his knowledge is not left behind remember that we are talking about uh, artificial intelligence yes. that's me now eating yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah that you you want artificial intelligence to be inclusive Mm. There is a, a lot of opportunities for us to innovate new technologies, mm. new games, new traditional games that have never been played before, that the communities themselves mm. can be part of digital revenue, that they can generate revenue from these new innovations of artificial intelligence. So that's why for over a decade we've been working with him to ensure that the communities are mm. also getting uh, a share, equal share of, of their knowledge. Mm. Uh, a lot of people sell books, uh, sell their inter intellectual capacity. They should also be able to sell and get uh, revenue from their knowledge. Absolutely, that's yeah. what we want to see going forward. I yes. think not only for the indigenous people of Namibia, but all over the world. I mean, the struggles are similar. Yeah. And uh, like Tatimbinga said, that they did find common ground in terms of experiences and just yeah. the appreciation for their language, their culture, and how they, you know, they want it preserved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you.